Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of revolutionary Italy, where we are launching our first invasion of Britain. And yeah, there might be a second one. It depends how much land we can grab here. The thing is, well, you can see he's got a lot of green lands, and the green lands are going to be very expensive to take in the peace deal. Like if I was to look at him right now and I said, hey, I want your shit, uh, how much would this be? Oh, that's actually only four war score. Hey, you know what? I bet we could take some of this shit down here. How much would all of this be? I just want to see what kind of peace deal we can look towards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's where I said I wanted to go. And he'll give me all that. What about the continental shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that too. Yeah, that too. More. More. Oh, 98. Perfect. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And then we'll just make a client state up here. That is fantastic. I love it. So that's what we're going to work towards. I don't know how much Worsker we're going to need to do that, but it's going to take a few years to siege up a lot of shit. That's for sure. Don't worry about the OE. We're going to make a client state. Don't worry about the OE. How many relations do we have? Yeah, we got room for two clients. We're good. Anyway, first episode I'm recording today, so I'm a little... No, I'm not all there right now. Oh. Falakia, do we have a truce? No, we don't. Well. I tell you what, Valakia, I should probably eat your face if we don't have a truce. Your allies are shit. Why are you allied to Tunis? Why, of all things, is Valakia allied to Tunis? I don't know. And the knights are allied to Armenia, Theodoro, and Valakia. Interesting. Well, I could see myself eating Armenia. He's a one province miner. Moldavia and Theodoro. Yeah, I could see that. So if we, for instance, declare on our, on Moldavia, call in Theodoro and Armenia as co-belligerents, not that we need to. Or maybe we just declare on the knights. Who would that bring in? Wallachia, Armenia, and Theodoro. I guess it doesn't matter. Just declare on all the things, eat all the things, whatever. What ideas do we have? We are humanist, quality, influence, administrative, innovative, offensive, trade, and diplomatic. That's what we are. All right. We're sieging up Austria. That's taking some time. We should keep a move on. So perhaps I should just declare and get a get a constant war state going here. We do have a decent amount of admin points rolling in. And we are focused admin. But one of the problems is we currently have a diplomatic leader. And we're probably going to keep him when his time is up. Hmm. Do I need the missionary strength? Is that necessary? I guess it is. There's a lot of lands to convert. How many provinces do I have? Like 300. Where does he even show that? Here. Yeah, 281. No, you can't have peace, Austria. Go to, go to hell. And let's go invade Vala... Well, let's see. The Knights and Tunis. I can see invading the Knights. I'm not sure about Tunis, though. Who are your allies? Valachia, the Ottomans, and Ajuron. See, if I call him in as a co he's going to bring in the Ottomans. And I really don't want to deal with that shit right now. Uh, truce is up in three years, though. So I guess when I declare on the Ottomans next, then we can fight Tunis. And then I can declare for the Knights. That sounds, that sounds like a plan. So for now, we could go for just Moldavia, maybe. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Go for Moldavia. Eat Theodoro and Armenia. Eat Moldavia. Total cost, 68%. Yeah. All right, well, why don't we fabricate a little bit for shits and giggles? Uh, what's the highest base tax or the highest development? 14, 16, 20. Highest is Turgoviste, 31. And I can't fabricate there. I'm surprised Turgoviste is so developed, considering Moldavia is not. Yeah, Wallachia did a good job with this land. Holy shit, a really good job. It's too bad Moldavia beat him in a war, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, I can't fabricate on that one, unfortunately. But I can fabricate on Silistria, which we'll have to do. It's only 10% cost difference anyway. No big deal. 
And we should be able to piece out Bulgaria soon. Austria is going to take some time because, well, our stack of 20 cannons is still on the way. We haven't reached them yet. Um, Britain, all right. We can pick up some more troops over here. Let's do it. I just want to drop off as many soldiers as I can as get, get as many sieges going as I can. Because right now, uh, we can only get a couple sieges going at a time. So let's keep moving. Some of these sieges will be instant, 100%, because there's no fort. Some of these sieges will take some time. As you can see, Norfolk and Lincoln both have forts. Those will take some time. I think that's what will drop off the soldiers. Because once those forts are out of the way, life will be a little easier. Negative 91 in Cornwall. Jesus. That's a level 4 fort. Oh, man. If only Bohemia could actually do stuff. Yeah, we can't move. So that's the thing. Once we've sieged a province, we can't move out of it. Oh, London fell. Nice. Very nice. Also, I heard a shit. What was that? Shit. Sean says... Shenpai, please notice me. What am I noticing? Oh, I missed the first one. Whoops. Shenpai, love me. Shenderp Kappa. Sean, you get all the love today. It is uh, July 4th today, American Independence Day. Uh, celebrate by by uh, liberally, liberally using your um, interpretation of the Second Amendment to fire wildly into the air. Don't do that. But anyway, we can spread the siege a little bit now. Oh, good, another province fell. We can spread the siege a little bit now. Because London is down. So get off the boat. We can keep on moving. Hey, free stability. Nice. I like stability. Okay, a couple more British armies are dead. Got the walls busted in Cornwall. Very good. Let's pick up the London armies. And where's the next biggest fort? So level one, level one, level one. Those are all tiny little forts. Uh, level two, level two. I think I'll send them to Cornwall because that's the level four. Or there's a level four in Meath. I guess I'll go there. Yeah, Meath could be good. Let's go to Meath. All aboard. To Meath we go. Yeah, this, this fort system makes it really difficult to siege the British Isles or anywhere else that has, you know... Like, he has forts on so many provinces, it's just going to be impossible to move around without sieging every single fort. Okay, there goes Essex. Can we get past Essex? Nope, we cannot move past, so we have to siege something else first. Alright. Oxfordshire, but we can't move past. Yeah. We are literally stuck. Alright, get to the Irish Sea. Dump off the troops. Siege up Meath. Yes, yeah, the first recording of the day, so I'm a little, you know, not all there. It'll take me some time to get back into the swing of things. We could probably pull a diplomat back and annex Bulgaria. So say goodbye to him. Oh, so Box has converted. Nice. Say goodbye to Bulgaria. And convert. There you go. That's the spirit. So we got a free province conversion to Protestant. Core that shit. Core that shit. And, uh, yeah. Good to go. For negative 42 with the walls busted in his last fort. Then we can full annex Austria. Uh, make sure our overextension never really gets too bad. 16% is fine. And they core in a year and a half. So 18 months. That is a considerable amount of effort into coring. Well, time, I mean. Okay, we arrived in Meath. Very cool. Hey, USA is now an enlightened despotism. Yeah, the Siege of Meath will take some time. It's a huge fort. You know what we could do is we could drop off a blockading fleet there. We probably should. In fact, why don't we just blockade the whole of Britain? Because we already got the trade achievement, so we might as well just go for blockades.
All right, drop off a blockade. Move on. Oh, we got the, we got the walls busted too. Nice. There goes Norfolk. Still can't move anywhere. So the sieging of Norfolk did nothing. On the boat. Let's sail up to Fife and Lothian. More fort action. Oh, we have a free diplomat. Um, okay. Are you willing to peace out for all your things? No. So we have 74 war score, and he won't give me 18. And, and this is one thing I think is silly about the fort system. 74 war score, but 18% peace deal is too much to ask. I don't know what else to say other than that's just downright silly. And the reason is because we haven't sieged this fort. It is a massive fort. Level 9 fort. I mean, this is... You gotta be fucking kidding me, right? It's gonna take forever. And yet, that's why he won't peace out. Uh, blockade. Move on. There's even a fort in Orkney, and it's a huge fort. Oh my god, a level 8 fort in Orkney. That's ridiculous. That's going to take a while to siege. Yay, Lincoln fell. We can finally move again. Well, a little bit. There we go. Fifty percent on Britain already. Wow. Pretty cool. We still haven't finished the Siege of Normandy. That's disgustingly sad. Uh, did I want to fabricate on anyone else? Like Theodoro and Armenia? Eighteen. I probably should. Thirteen. I can't even fabricate on Theodoro, but I can fabricate on Armenia, so let's do that. Why not? Make it cheaper to core. One ship, full blockade. I love it. We can't move, can we? Gotta siege these forts before we can move. That can be frustrating. Uh, let's go pick up the troops in Wessex. Oh, Oxford fell. Oh, there's a fort in Marches, I see. This is a really stupid... I'm going to call it a bug. There's a fort in Marches, but I can't walk to it. Even though I can siege right next door, like I can siege Darby. Oh, there we go. It wasn't letting me go from Oxford. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. It's fine. We're all good. I want to fabricate on Turgovist. We don't have to finish it. I just want to start it. Actually, why wait? Let's just go. Why wait? Oh, I'm actually under attack. The 13 colonies has sent over a pretty big fleet, and I actually cannot handle it because I'm too far away. Well, that's just sad. I'm going to lose two trade ships. It's kind of annoying, actually. Yep, just lost two trade ships. Lothian has fallen. Perfect. Move on. Making good progress here. Short work of the British Isles. Austria is still holding strong. This negative 98 is up to negative 14. It's still going to take probably a couple of years to finish. And Normandy, the first province we started sieging in this camp, in this war is still not finished sieging because reasons uh, let's go ahead and start a war with Moldavia I don't care who your allies are wait the commonwealth oh, those defended the protest of the catholic faith um yeah I think I need to bring Scandinavia into that one I don't want to fight the commonwealth alone we could but it'd be way better if we had Scandinavia like distracting him so we'll probably have to piece out of these other wars before we go for Moldavia. Stupid defender of the Catholic faith. What a joke. Catholic faith. 
Like, is that still a thing? Greta Claire on Pomaderpia? He's got no allies. Uh, yeah. Can I get access to Brandenburg? No. But I can drop ships off. Or I can drop troops off via boat. Really is not much left in Europe to conquer other than the Commonwealth. Hmm. I guess I could declare on Armenia. That works. And just bring in Moldavia as a co-belligerent. There you go. And that'll work. And I can go eat the knights while we're here. Why not? Austria still wants peace, but he won't peace out the way I want. Uh, do I have any armies to go siege Armenia? Nope. Can I walk to the knights? Nope. I'm going to have to bring my transport navy down there. Alright, let's handle this battle first. I need to sink this stupid uh, North American navy before we can really do anything. We're going to lose a couple ships there, but we'll be okay. And we'll probably sink his fleet. I still can't move. Stupid fort system. Okay, sunk his fleet, and Normandy finally fell. Yay! It's a level one siege guy. We finally got Normandy to fall. Let us move. Let's see. The Knights, Theodoro, Moldavia, Armenia. Let's go straight for the forts of Moldavia. Oh, my vassal's going there. Eh, we'll help him out anyway. And then we'll pick up whatever army we can go to the Knights. Actually, why don't you go to the Knights? Yeah, you got a siege pip. Yeah, Rhodes is going to be a really tough thing to tackle because Rhodes just has a massive fort. Just a massive fort. So let's pick up a huge army and we'll go to Rhodes with as many cannons as we can muster. On the boat. Britain, you poor bastard. Pick him up on the boat, and let's go to the Knights. It's going to take some time to get there, but we'll get there. And yeah, it looks like Bohemia is doing a lot of work up here, so we're not going to have to siege Moldavia. I'll let him do it. Uh, we can, however... Send an army to Armenia. Let's do that. And who else is in this? Theodoro. Can we just walk there? Yeah. Apparently, someone has access to the Commonwealth, so I can just walk to Theodoro. Works for me. Who else? Just the knights. Okay, we're good. I don't know where all these admin points are going to come from to core all this shit, but we'll find them somewhere, I guess. Where'd my heavy fleet go? There it is. Hey, Meath has fallen. Nice. And there's no more forts here? Good. So Ireland's going to fall like a, like a sack of bricks. Siege him up. Oh, shit. Another fleet. Gosh darn it. He's not even moving. He's just standing there. I think he wants to attack my uh, transports. Let's go say hi. He's going north, huh? Oh, changed his mind. Can I catch him? Oh, yeah, I got him. You're going down, you little piece of shit. All right, let's hurry on. Let's go stop in Crete before we actually... Oh, that's not my land. Oh, the Ottomans still own Crete. Well, shit. Well, let's stop in Mentesi then. Whatever. Gah. 
Gotcha, bitch. Oh, wow. He's sunk in one day. Poor bastard. What? I don't have enough troops to siege this anymore? Oh, come on, game. Ugh. All right. Send down some extra cannons to Cornwall. We must make Cornwall fall. It must fall. Uh, right there is good. And then I think that's everything blockaded. Yeah, that's everything blockaded on Britain. God, Orkney is going to be such a bitch to siege. Level 8 fort on that little island? God damn. Uh, Austria, how's the siege going, dude? We almost done yet? Nope, we're at 0%. Well, we're up from negative 98 to 0, which I guess is better than negative 98. But still, shit siege chances, man. A long-ass way to go. What is, is this just a bunch of heavies and shit? What is this? Holy crap, it's a lot of heavies. Oh, I love it. Look at this fucking fleet. 44 heavies. Wow. Uh, why don't you guys patrol... I don't know. Patrol the uh, English Channel node. Alright, and you guys can also go back to patrolling the English Channel node. I don't think we need you anywhere else. We're good. Go finish siege in this stupid island. There goes Fife. Time to hit a birding. Take over North Africa? Yeah, eventually. If we have time. Deimos, you're in the way. I guess just sit in Ursher for now. Alright, here come the transports. Good. Okay, we arrived in Van. Very good. Siege them down. Sieging the knights is going to take forever. Arriving in Theodoro. There we go. Don't even have a general over there. Alright. Two roads. They have a 4-3 general. We have a 4-2 general. But we outnumber him 5-1. to one. Should be okay. Armenia wants peace. We've killed his army and he wants peace. Was that the general that I'm about to drop off? No. Okay. One of my other generals died. But it wasn't... Oh, was it the two siege guy? No. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's fine. Nothing to see here. No. The army of Theodoro lives. Hmm. Quaint. Oh, wow. We're actually at positive siege progress on this fucking thing. Wow. That took a while. Who's this? The Netherlands wants peace. I'm at war with the Netherlands? I didn't even know I was at war with you. Where are you? Oh, you got sieged. You poor bastard. Scandinavia has sieged you. Dude, I'll give you to Scandinavia. That works. There you go. Have fun, Scandinavia. Yay, you got land. Given province in peace, plus 10. He's so happy I gave him land. He's like, yay! Ah, <laughs> oh, goddammit. Britain's attacking me with a transport ship? What? Oh, it was this general that died. Alright, I'll just swap in a new general. New general! Hey, two siege. I love it. Orkney, we must siege you. And that's going to take some time. Why can't I walk here? 
Blocked by hostile fort. I, I really don't like the way the fort system does this. Apparently Orkney is blocking me from walking to the Western Isles, even though they're on different sea tiles. I it just... I, that's exactly what's happening, because the forts that are on the land in Fife and Lothian, those have both been sieged down. So the only thing blocking me from walking there is Orkney, which is bullshit. But, okay. Just gonna drag the war on even longer. Alright, we've arrived in Rhodes. Kick some knight butthole. I got a good dice roll, too. Hey, Northumberland fell. Yay! Uh, let's get a general and go to marches. I want marches to siege quickly. I'll probably take the two pip general from Austria when that one finishes. So please finish this siege so I can take the two pip general. There you go. Oh, look at that. Ask and you shall receive, eh? Annex you. Convert you. Yay! Yay! Core it. Core it. Core it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. No more Austria, everyone. No more Austria. Good times. All right, take the two-star general. Um, take him out. We're going to go siege up Marches, because Marches is apparently a bitch of a fort. Yeah, it's a huge fort. All right, here you go. Have a big general. And yeah, even with a two, even with a two-siege general... This fort starts off at negative 63. And that's with a full blockade, too. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. What's our OE? 43. Alright, well, hurry up with those cores, damn it. Gosh, coring takes too long. Statesman gains power. Lose prestige or fire the statesman. I don't really need prestige. I don't need prestige. Oh god, this fort's this fort's gonna take forever. Are we blockading him at least? No. Alright, let's blockade him. There's a blockade. Alright, that helps. I mean it's not perfect, but it helps. Moroccan Australia has honored its alliance with Malacca is now at war with Italy. I'm at war with Moroccan Australia. Okay. Hi, Malacca Australia. I mean, whatever. Malacca, do you guys want peace, dude? I mean, we're not really fighting each other. No? Alright, well, it was worth the thought. It was worth the thought. Who else is in this war? The Iroquois. Canada's at war with me. I'm at war with Canada. No, Canada, no. Why, Canada, why? We could be friends. We're both green. Why would you want to war with me? What the fuck? This stupid fort needs to fall so I can peace out. Is there another fort? Please tell me there's no more forts. Okay, no, that's the last one. So we just need marches to fall and we can peace out, I think. I mean, that's going to be a lot of war score. Should be good. Solistria has fallen. Good. Uh, diplomat. What can I do with Mr. Diplomat? Diplomat, diplomat. Diplomat, diplomat. Diplomat. Wow, our manpower is just dropping like a stone. We're just doing too many sieges. I wish Bohemia would do more sieges, but he doesn't have a navy because he's kind of landlocked, so I gotta do most of the sieging. Uh, I guess I could fabricate on someone? I could fabricate on Pomerania, I guess? I don't know. Whatever. Go eat him soon. Why do I have all these little... Oh, right, they're blockading. I'm like, what are all these little navies doing? They're, they're blockading. It's fine. It's normal. Perfectly normal. All right, there goes Armenia, which means I can peace out of that war, but I don't want to peace out of that war just yet. What's the for what's supply limit? 37. We're good. I don't want to peace out of that war yet because he's the war leader. So I want to peace out everyone else first. Moldavia, the Knights, uh, Theodoro. Peace all them out first. There's a fort in Northwest Scotland. Yeah, but I can't get there without my transports. And my transports are busy. 
I guess I don't need to bring my train. I guess I could just use this fleet to blockade. Yeah, you guys can be my blockading fleet for roads. And I can take my transports back to Britain. Get all these troops home. Hey, Theodoro fell. Nice. Alright, as soon as we finished our claim on Van, we can peace out Theodoro. And we should be able to full annex Moldavia soon as well. Wow, 84% and you just can't get it to fall. That's so unlucky. How many times does he have to fail to get to 84%? You know, it's just ridiculous. You gotta fail at 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, and then 84. That's a lot of failures. Just extremely unlikely. Alright, almost done with the fabrication. You guys arrived. Let's go get our sh dudes home from Britain. Let's go park it in Kent. Oh, is it timer already? Alright, why don't we call this an episode here? Come back next time. We'll be peacing out Theodoro, Moldavia, uh, and Armenia, and the Knights. And hopefully we can get marches to fall in Cornwall so we can peace out Britain as well. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.